welcome back to another hey. video today guys today we're going to be doing a little study yeah. session no leave the pens please um we're going to be doing english today um we do different subjects throughout the week okay i'm going to take these pens because you're getting distracted just a thought i'd take, pick up the camera and show you guys how Carter learns english and wait ta mommy will open it in a minute ta ta so Carter was just crying say um i'm okay now oh, thank you oh water oh, what's the water it's okay okay mm -hmm. so okay. today say thank you mama thank you mama it's okay so today's video is just based upon Carter's learning um i do homeschool him because he's not in nursery at the moment i just don't feel like I want to put him in nursery yet because I've just been hearing a load of negative things to do with the staff neglecting the kids in the nursery. So I wouldn't want to put Carter in nursery and basically risk that, do you know what I mean? Throughout the whole time, he's at home spending time with me until he does go to school. I teach him. I use our time wisely. We have fun, but we take our learning seriously as well. I want him to be clued up, do you know what I mean? So I just thought I'll bring you along the journey of watching Carte learn and get smarter and more intelligent every day so today we're going to be doing English I've got our little pad here so this is a clean page Cotton. so we're going to do some writing Cotton. we've got some pens yes we've got some pens we're going to use pens. them in a minute okay pens. Um, we've got the computer pens. right here um, pens. Pens. Right here. my niece is a nephew pens. Pens. Um, and then we've got this big poster here it's usually on the wall over there but i've taken it off um oh, wow. the batteries are run out it usually if you touch it it says the r it says what it is so for example if i touched it it would say the letter g and then water so, yeah. okay well we'll have this snack in a moment okay so First, should we start off by saying our name? No name. Say, my name. My name is, is Cartier. Cartier. And I am. I am two years two old. Years and old. Good boy. So, I want to do like a little challenge, mm. even though mm. you never know if your children, you never know whether they're gonna focus or yeah. be ready. But I'm gonna give it a go. So let's get what colour pen is this? Blue. Good boy. Blue. So Blue. Mummy's gonna Blue. write a letter and you're gonna guess it, okay? Come and sit on mummy's lap. letters k so let mommy help you it spells h right so look if we so k h a r so imagine this 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 is car oh. yeah we hide oh. one end can you see guys we hide one end one we hide one end and we practice one. This is what we're gonna one. do. We're gonna practice one half and then add the other half. You ready? 
So say ka, ka, t a, k a, t a, t a. What's this side? T a, ka, ka, t a, ka, ka, t a. Cartier. Now that's how you say all together. Cartier. 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 Good boy. Who's called Cartier? Whose name is Cartier? Name is Cartier. Your name is Cartier. Good boy. High five. Good boy. Right. Come on, next page. So that's just practicing his name because obviously I want him to know his name. I want him to be able to pronounce that his name properly because it's his name. We want to use purple. Okay, tough. Right, now we're going to practice our A E I O U. They're very important. I would say when you're practicing your child to learn about speech and just vocabulary and say your words. Child knows how to say A, it's easy to say words that have A in it. If your child knows how to say E, it'll make it easy for your child to say words with E in it. It just makes a lot more a lot more sense. A load more sense, yeah. Right, you ready? Sideways, but mm. all right. What does this one say? What does this word say? Look at mommy's writing. Cartier. Wow. What does this word say? Oh, a n e e. Good boy. But what does it say? <coughs> Bless you. I tried to help. Sorry. B o o. Because I didn't make much space, so it's spelled 
B-E. Right, Carter, what does this word say? E. E. Spell it downwards. L. L. E. E. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it funny? <laughs> Why is it? What does the word say? Ellie. Yeah. So what does the word come out? I know. I'm excited. I know. What does the word? What animal does this pronounce? Bird. Mm -mm, not a bird. It starts with an E. e. Ellie. Ellie. Elephant. Elephant. Good boy. Elephant. 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 Fun. That one was a bit tricky. Fun. That one was a bit tricky. I won't lie. Carter is not really as familiar with the elephant, but if I showed him a picture, he would know. Grandma. But um, it's worth a try. If you don't kind of push your child to the limit they're never gonna know their limit and you're never gonna know their limit do you know what i mean so now we have established now. hold on Ta. pass that one to mommy please we can only use one pen at a time okay now that we've established like words like elephant as of right now are a bit too tricky for him to pronounce out on paper without an image of it we will stick to things he will be pretty more similar with probably like three worded words or four worded words Nothing too people, evasive or overwhelming people, by the image or people, how it's written. So, people, for I, people, let's try. People, people, beep, or beep, or bi. What does that say? E. 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 I'm not trying to say the word, but I'm trying to give him an idea. E. Of how the word's supposed to be pronounced without saying it. That's why I keep saying it weirdly. Look, ing together. Ing together is ik. Ik. And then just l and double o is lu. So we got ik and then lu. Ik. And then look. So all together, what does that say? B I M O So all together, what does it say? If it's E L U E L U E L U E L U. Where's E L U? Point to the E L U. Point to which word says E L U. Good boy. That's so I have an understanding that like he understands which word is which. You get what I'm saying? Even if he's not familiar with pronouncing it and how it's been written, and he's been showing me and acknowledging and pointing to the word, that's showing me he somewhat understands that's the word to the meaning of what I'm saying. For you, I was going to do umbrella, but I think that's going to be a bit tricky because there's no image of an umbrella. So I'm gonna screw that as of right now. And I'm gonna do something. So let me get another pen. Number one, we're gonna do vehicles. So our buses and stuff, come here. Um, <coughs> so vehicles, so we've got a bus, car, bike, train. Bike train. Yeah. Even though he knows the recycling truck, I'm not going to do it simply because, once again, without the image, it might be too overwhelming. Um, so we've got boss car, Let's see how you go so that one for now. Right, come here. So because I'm doing the vehicles now, Cartier likes the vehicles. So you see what I'm doing? He's gone to his vehicles of the bus. Car, fire engine, etc. So look, come here. Look at the words. Bus. Bus. 
Which one? Which one says bus? Look, look at mummy's writing. Which one says bus? Point to bus. Bus. No. Nope. Try again. Bus. Good boy. Which one says bike? Bike. Good boy. Which one says bus? Bus. Good boy. So we've established that he's pretty familiar bike. with that because he's got it correct twice. Taxi. Mm -mm, that's not a taxi. Good try, but that's a train. Car. Car. Train. Good boy. What's this one? Car. Good boy. Two more. Should mommy write two more down? <coughs> Say yes, please. Yes, me. Say this is too easy for me. <coughs> is it too easy? The reason why I'm doing it in capitals as well is because uh, he's not familiar with capital letters. He's familiar with just like lowercase. So I'm doing it in capitals to see if his mind memorizes the words that he knows. In uppercase letters and so far pretty good vehicles this one vehicle now what car is it what vehicle can you vehicle. see no can you say it <laughs> A vehicle. okay okay we'll come back what's this taxi car good boy what's this one Fire engine. Fire engine. Boy, where's the bike? Bike. Very well done. Where's the bus? Bus. Where's the car? Car. Where's the train? Train. Well done. High five. Can I have some water on my <laughs> Identify each letter and word next to it. So we did pretty good with that. So I'm pretty happy. So he's quick, so Carte is quickly run off. So it's alright. Because I'm just gonna set this up a moment. But everybody knows about bite size. Bite size. 
check that out for your children i kid you not Five, it's very good four, very three, very good two, um i put cartier so look so this is when cartier is on at the moment but if you go to home they've got primary oh. school secondary school and post 16. Oh. obviously oh. cartier is not free oh. he's two but i do it anyway yeah. because why not if you want your children to be smart push them to their own limit you're testing them like they're still new to this world they're learning what you show them so if you're showing them things that's a bit harder and a bit tricky and you're teaching them it in a way that they can learn and lapse into it doesn't matter because they're gonna learn and they're gonna embrace it and they're gonna appreciate it do you know what i mean these things might be age three to 11 but Carter smashes it so it says all it says is I go to school in England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales and obviously we're in England so we'll choose England and then I am in early years reception or key stage one which is year one or year two or key stage two which is year three or four, year five or six. So I choose, I would do reception or sometimes I'll do year one um, just to push him to his own limit but I will show you what it does. So it's either English or maths, if you go to year one there's a lot more options. So this is on A. A. So that's e. the A sound. I hope I don't get copyrighted a. because I, I wouldn't, would I? No, I don't see why. A. I. After this one, that's the letter A. Mm. Right, they're just short clips, but kid you not, it makes a total difference. A total difference. So, this is B. That's the letter B. It makes the B sound. B, 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 I, G, big. Can you say that? Big. Good point. Can you say that? Back. Good boy. A big bat. A. Can you say that? Back. It said a big bat. A big bat well done now that was a sentence a short sentence and he was able to say it. can you say it again a big bat good boy big bat a big bat wow look at the bat you just do as many as these as you want as you can see like there's quite a lot it goes it's literally the alphabet goes up to z and this will literally improve your child's like vocabulary and speech with those letters specifically even though they're short clips they're mad effective give it a try with your kids That's without them realizing without you realizing as a parent That's they're not just it. sitting down and watching they're sitting down and learning because like. it's going to be easy to infuse into their brain do you know what i mean because it's not like it's a big long video where there's just a lot going by and it's just bombarded and congested and it's hard to kind of take in their little brains because it's a short clip and what they show is kind of blatant but brief it's, a, it's easier for them to understand and take in do you know what i mean yeah so check that out bite science they've got a load more other things was that fun a fun bye these are keeper books definitely invest into them if you can for your children as well because they're very good the sentences are pretty short you must have read these in primary school too. Mad sure. But also effective because it's easy for kids to remember. We. 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 We.
Eight. 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 Three. Ah. Oh. And. Karte briefly learn today. Learn more about his letters, learn more about pronunciations, learn more about evolving sentences. I'm getting tired now. Was that a lot of brain work? Hey, you can have a snack now. Say thank you, mommy. Thank you, mama. Good boy. Thank you, mommy. Are you gonna eat nicely? Take a bite now. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed watching Carte briefly. Learn. There'll be loads more of our learning videos. <laughs> um, probably our next learning video will probably be maths. So stay tuned for that. Um, say stay tuned. Uh -huh. Say stay tuned. Thank you. Good boy. Um, don't forget to check out these Kipper books. They've got loads more others. And the good thing about it is you yeah. can kind of up them up a stage. So this is stage. This is level one plus. So um, I'm going to move them up very soon into level like twos. But that's what's good about it. They go up to like a high level. I think 16 or one. I'm not even too sure. Um, but they're very good for your kids, they're mad exciting books. Right. Like, as you saw, it's not much, and it, he's pretty mm. got the gist of reading them now. Um. So, yeah, and don't forget to check out the bite size website, it's very good. Right. Invest your time, mm. invest more time um. into your children, man. If you want them to be intellectual up here, literally, all you got to do is 20 minutes of your day, or 30 minutes, or 10 minutes, or 15 minutes doesn't matter you can never be too busy to teach your kids but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video stay tuned for the rest for any video recommendations give us a message on our social media that should be down in the description like subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and stay blessed just stay tuned stay tuned for the next video peace everybody Thank <laughs> you.